Hi everyone, welcome to Yoga with Haney. I'm Haney and this week I'm going to take you through a breath focused practice. We're going to do a very simple practice movement wise. Everything will happen seated and we're going to let the breath lead the practice. So really our focus is going to be on the breath. We're trying to reset and de-stress our body and mind. Let's get started. Find an easy, comfortable seated pose. I suggest some kind of cross-legged pose and you could use a small cushion or you could use a block or a book under your pelvis. So I'm, I'm sitting on top of a yoga block. Just might make your seat a bit more comfortable because we're going to spend in this seat the whole practice. We'll move the legs a bit, but most of the practice will happen from this seat. So make sure your seat is easy and comfortable. And if you are in a cross-legged seat, bring your left leg in front first. We're gonna then swap about halfway through and we'll do a bit of movement to both sides. So we'll start with the left leg in front. And once you have found your comfortable seat, we start to focus on the breath. And our first breathing exercise is called the three-part breath. And we're going to do it by starting the breath from higher up, moving lower down, and then the exhalation as we breathe out is going to move from belly upwards. So those three parts in this breathing exercise are the chest and the collarbone area, and then breathing down towards the rib cage, so a bit further down, and then the lowest part is the belly area. And you could think about kind of having upper belly, lower belly, and combining them into one big belly area. So those three parts, the chest, rib cage, and belly. And I suggest that you bring one hand to that chest area, maybe where your chest bone is, and then the other hand somewhere to your upper abdomen or lowest ribs area. And first, just let your shoulders relax. You could close your eyes if you want, or just soften your gaze down towards the mat, towards the ground. And first take a couple of easy, natural breaths in and out. If possible, inhale through the nose. And you choose if you exhale through the nose or mouth. Try to go with what feels easiest to you. And then we'll go into that three part breath. So first, as you inhale, breathe up to your collarbones and chest bone. Then let the breath expand further down towards the ribs. And then finally down to the belly. And as you exhale, start from the lower belly. Let the exhalation rise up. So lower belly, upper belly, ribs, and finally the chest, the collarbone area. Inhale to your chest, ribs, belly. Exhale from the belly up to the rib cage to the chest, collarbones. Inhale to chest, ribs, belly. Exhale from the lower belly upwards, allowing the ribs, the chest to sink in. One more breath. Inhaling to the chest, ribs, belly and exhale from belly, ribs, chest. Now you could continue a couple more rounds in your own pace. Or if you start to feel that you want to let go of the three-part breath, you can also come back to your natural relaxed breathing pattern. After your next exhalation, 
if you've been doing the three part breath, just let go. Come back to your natural breath and let your hands and arms come down next to your sides. Take a couple of relaxed breaths in and out and just feel all that space up in the chest, down in the ribs, down in the belly. You have all that space available. Also start to notice how much space you have in your back, at the back of the rib cage. We'll explore that space a bit more in this next breathing exercise now, which is start to move the arms in a simple way together with the breath, but let the breath continue leading your practice. Now with your next inhalation, let your arms rise up overhead towards the ceiling, towards the sky. And then as you exhale, let the arms come down. And now let your head come slightly further down, rounding your neck, your upper back, and feeling that back space opening up. And then with your next in-breath, again, start to lengthen the arms up. Maybe turning your gaze up, allowing the chest to open up. And then with your next exhalation, the arms come sideways down again. Let your head kind of knot down. Let the neck, the upper back round. And you can take extra breaths anywhere along the way. We'll do this two more times. With the next in breath, let the arms rise up. Let the chest open. Still keeping tops of the shoulders soft. And from there, as you exhale, let the arms come down and let your chest slightly close. You're opening into that back space. Let your upper back round. One more round in your own timing. Inhalation starts to open the chest, arms lengthening up. And then exhale, release the arms down. At the same time, let your chest close slightly, upper back round. And then we're just going to bring the neck, the head up. Let your hands, your arms stay somewhere where they stay relaxed. And again, just feel your natural, easy breath. Couple of breaths in and out. And we'll, we'll go and breathe a bit more into the side body. And we stay seated. And you could keep that left leg in front in a cross-legged seat. We're going to slowly walk the left hand a bit further out to the side. You could lean the hand on the floor, on the mat. And we don't need to think about a big movement here. Really focus on the breath. With your next in-breath, let the right arm rise up and let the breath open the right side of your body. So really starting to breathe into that side body. The right arm could bend. Inhale to your ribs on the right side. If you feel like going a bit further into that side bend, you could exhale. Slowly bend a bit further out to the left side. But let the breath lead you. Try not to push yourself into the movement. Let each in breath and out breath open space. Release tension around that space. Maybe let your gaze turn down towards the mat. Take another breath in and out in that side bend. Then with the next in breath, just slowly return back to the center. Let the right arm release down. Check your shoulders are soft. And we'll continue 
on the same side going into a twist. We're going to bring that left hand now a bit more behind us, maybe just fingertips on the mat, and then bring your right hand resting on the left thigh or left knee. And we try not to use the arms a lot here. Yeah, just the breath leading us into the twist. And just start to breathe consciously in and out in your twist and notice if it's the in breath or maybe it's the out breath that helps you move into your twist. Letting the hands be soft, let the arms be soft. We're not pulling, we're not pushing into the twist. Let the breath move through the chest all the way down to the ribs, all the way down to the belly. Maybe feel the back side of your body opening up and releasing with your breath. Give yourself another breath in and out. I suggest use the exhalation to slowly, slowly release out of the twist. Good. And then we'll do a bit of cat-cow movement. So now moving consciously together with the breath. And I have a breath pattern here that I suggest, but if it doesn't feel good, let yourself breathe in your own way. I suggest that this first time round, we inhale, open the chest. So we're really breathing towards the front side and then exhale, let the chest close, rounding your upper back, rounding your neck, head can come down. Same again, inhale towards the chest, towards the front of the ribs, opening. And then start to exhale, let the chest sink in, rounding the neck, the upper back. And two more rounds with your own in-breath, opening through the chest. With your own out-breath, let the chest sink in, let the backside open, release into a slight flexion, slight forward bend. One more time with your own in-breath opening through the front. And exhale, a slight closing in the chest, rounding through the back. And then bring yourself back to the center. Take a couple of breaths in and out here. Just relaxed, easy breaths. And then we'll come into a forward bend. And here you have an option. Either leave your legs where they are, maybe they are in a cross-legged shape, or you could also extend your legs in front of you. Give the legs a bit of a different shape. And we're just going to lean forward. First, I suggest taking a slightly bigger, deeper breath in, allowing the breath to move down all the way towards the belly. And then exhale from the belly upwards and start to round your spine. Coming into a forward bend, you can walk or slide your hands further forward. We're not trying to completely fold onto our legs, just allowing rounding through the spine and here explore breathing into the back side of the body. Breathe to the back of the rib cage. Feel how much space you have on the back side and allow the exhalations to release. Maybe releasing through the neck, through the base of the skull. releasing through the lower back, 
allowing maybe even heavy hit to come a bit further down. Send a couple more breaths to your back. Exhalations, continue releasing. And then with a slightly bigger breath in, start to slowly roll the back up. Let the back of your lungs lift, float you up. Roll the shoulders a bit. And then we're going to come to the other side of this movement. So if you had your legs crossed before, I suggest now crossing your legs so that your right leg is in front, finding another easy seat. And we have that side bend first. So now we're going to let the breath open the left side of the body. And you could slide your right hand a bit further out to the right side. So you can lean onto your right hand. Maybe the head leans to the right as well. And then inhalation starts to lift the left arm higher up, opening the armpit, opening the left side again. You don't need to care too much about that left arm, the shape. Just think about opening the left side of the body. And send a couple of breaths to your ribs on the left side. Maybe turning gaze down towards the floor if that releases your neck. And just continue, continue breathing in and out. Maybe the exhalations help you release a bit more into that side bend. The pose is not the thing here. The breath is the thing in our practice now. Give yourself a couple more breaths. Let the breath Find space, create space on the left side. And then with an in-breath, slowly start to bring yourself up. And release the left arm down. Then we'll come into the twist. So now... We're going to twist to the right. Bring your right hand somewhere behind you. Maybe it's the hand, maybe it's the fingertips on the mat. And left hand somewhere just resting on the left, sorry, the right thigh or knee. And again, not using the arms a lot. Just start to breathe in and out. Noticing. Is it easier for you to move with the in-breath or with the out-breath. And it could be that the twist is really, really small. You might even feel that you're not even moving into a twist at all and that's very fine. See how the breath could guide you. Maybe, maybe it can show us that there is less movement than we expected. We're maybe sometimes quite used to just using the arms to push and pull. But now just let the breath let, let you move if there is movement to find. Give yourself another breath in your twist. And slowly, I suggest exhaling back to the center. Give yourself a couple of relaxed breaths there in and out. And then we'll come into the cat cow one more time. But now I'm going to suggest we reverse the breath. See how that would feel. 
So what if we now exhale, open the chest. So in a way, releasing the spine into a back bend. And then inhale to round the back. And think about that opening on the back side of the body. And again, exhale, release spine into a back bend. At the same time, the chest opens. And then inhale towards the back side of your ribs, allowing that back side open. Two more rounds in your own pace. Exhaling into back bend. And inhaling to round the spine. You can let your chin come towards the chest. One more round. Exhaling to back bend. And inhale to round the back, to open that back space. And then keep your spine rounded. Either continue leaning forward with your legs crossed, so coming into one more forward bend. Or you could extend your legs in front of you and keep leaning forward. So again, you have those two options for the legs, just come into one more forward bend and continue opening that back space, breathing into that back side of your rib cage. You can allow your hip to come down, release through the neck. Take another breath in and out. And then slowly, slowly with the in breath, start to help your back up. Bring the neck, bring the head up and just slightly lean onto your hands. So step your hands behind you and open the chest. So just leaning a bit away from that forward bend. You can look a bit higher up. Breathe towards the chest. Then come back to neutral, come back to center. And once more, bring your legs into any easy place. Where do you feel? You could spend another moment as we close the practice with breathing. I suggest, like in the beginning, bring one hand onto your chest and the other hand somewhere onto your belly or down to the ribs. You could close your eyes or soften your gaze down towards the ground. And now just notice your breath. Notice the natural pattern, the calm pace in your own breath. For a moment, let yourself find a rhythm in your own breath. Without forcing, without pushing the breath, just observing the natural rhythm. Let yourself breathe. With each exhalation, let go of tension, let go of stress that you don't need right now. Let go of everything that's not serving your body. It's not serving your mind right now. And just let yourself be.
Give yourself another breath in and out. And you could close the practice with hands on your body. Or you could bring your palms together in front of the chest. Bring the right and the left side to meet in the middle. And as always, at the end of the practice, thank yourself for bringing your body your breath, your mind onto the mat, into your practice today. And I thank you all very much for joining in. Namaste. Thank you for joining in. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. I'll publish a video every week, so if you want to stay updated, hit that little bell icon down below. You'll be immediately notified of the new video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.